guys, welcome to day 11, the final one. So looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow. So we're gonna do two more on the pole moves. First one we're gonna do is really good for these abs and balance. So, side of the pole, we're gonna hook our leg. You'll find what's comfortable for you. You don't want it too high, really. You want a bit of a nice line. You're gonna pull that back. So you're really pushing these hips forward and you're standing really nice and strong, pushing the weight through that leg. And do hands on our head. Now you do whichever level is best for you. So the first one we can do is bending forward, squeezing with that knee. So you're crunching up. So you can stick at that one, or you can add on. We're gonna go sideways, crunch out, and down to the wall, and up. Then we're gonna add another one on. Then we go sideways, crunch, and up. Add another one on, looking towards the pole, crunching towards the pole, careful not to smack your head, and up. So you've got those four. You can either do all of them in a row, or just pick which one. It depends what level is best for you. 45 seconds on, 45 seconds off, times three. I'll quickly do them again for you. Nice and strong, really squeezing. First one, down, nice and slow. Squeezing with that stomach and the butt and your leg. Second one, with your head facing towards the wall as much as you can. You're gonna feel it here. You're gonna bend down, look into the floor and up. Bring the body back up to the side. We're gonna crunch to the side and squeeze and back up. And the last one, look at the pole and squeeze and crunch and back up. Both sides, remember. So it'll be a total of six. Just remember, keep squeezing, keep squeezing and you'll really feel them. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna practice our grip. So, top hand high, bottom hand low. Start on your tippy toes. Really engaging that body, squeezing the butt, squeezing the core. So you should already feel like you're doing a plank. We're gonna pull on the top hand. We're gonna push on the bottom hand. If when you push on this bottom hand, if you get pain through here, you've got it at the wrong angle. You don't want to overextend it too much. So just play around with it until you feel it's right for you. So, up on your tippy toes. First one, pull, push. Then all we're going to do is breathe. And we're going to elevate. So we just come in off the floor. Down, and take it back down again. So you can either stay there, Next level, pull, push, breathe, elevate, legs behind and down. Now you can stop and start again, or you can carry on. Just make sure there is no swing. Everything's got to be slow and controlled. Swinging does nothing. Next level, hands high, pulling, pushing, squeezing like that plank, elevate, legs back, Legs forward and down. If you can, if you're strong enough, carry on through. Just make sure as soon as you lose that contraction, you stop and start again. The slower you do them, the harder they are, the better they're gonna work. And remember, right, then left. Again, 45 seconds on, 45 seconds off, times three each side. That's really gonna help you with your grip and your balance and really concentrating on staying nice and strong. If you're wavering like this when you're doing it, go back to the level before because there should be no movement. You should be like a pencil. Okay, well thanks for joining me for the last 11 days anyway. Hopefully you'll get back to your own pole school soon and um, this will have helped you get a bit more strength. So um, keep watching us, we're on YouTube. Subscribe, I'll keep putting things on there and enjoy.